All right, everyone out there. I thought I'd let y'all see my new milling machine I got. It's a Gorton, I think 9J. <clears throat> and I just set it up for uh, to run off a of VFD. But I got that running off a, a rotary phase converter. And uh, it has XY travel, power travel. And I'll start it up and let y'all hear it. This is my control box for the the VFD remote controls, and I got the the VFDs in this box down here. Got to shut it off first. I got one up top right there. I got a little one down there. Can't probably see with all the mess of wires. <clears throat> this one right here is for the main motor it's a three horse it's actually a two speed but I'm only using the high speed because I'm using a VFD and I don't need the low speed that's only at 30 hertz and that would be at 60 hertz Dial it all the way down. I bought this machine at a scrapyard. They had dr they actually dropped it, and I had to. Straighten this shaft back out, and uh, they picked it up with a claw, and they they broke this off right here, which is to hold the the motor tight when you change the speed. And they messed up that tag right there, and had crushed all the conduit. I replaced all the conduit. The motor originally had the wires. On the other side, running down through there and back out into into a different box. That's not original box. I changed that. So I turned the motor around so I have the wire running straight down instead of having it going through all that center cast. This right here runs the X and the Y. I can slow it down to you. These right here are the reset buttons for the VFDs if they trip out. This right here is the coolant pump. I got a brand new coolant pump. That right there is the E-stop. That's about it. I changed the, all the bearings in the spindle from top down. I put P5 bearings in it. And all the same bearing, that's what came out of it.
That's it. The only other thing I'll probably do to it is change the motor bearings because I, I had the top of the motor off and someone had replaced them with cheap Chinese bearings so I'm going to probably end up changing them out. This is the inside of my the uh, my rotary phase converter uh, built. Outside might be a little bit deceiving. And there's the idle motor down there. Someone gave me that. Alrighty, well that's it.